Because without people, we are nothing. There is no one human being. There is a human society comprising thousands and millions of people. One of the main reasons why people cannot get ahead in life is because they don't choose their battles. People who have bad assessment of the situation at hand and simply lack social awareness. My belief is that the current atmosphere of the living situation that we have with technology progressing and developing every goddamn day. It synthetically cultivates social autism in people. But also we have another predicament at hand. We become very accustomed to our self-sufficiency and independence. And when you are all about being your own boss and not needing others for survival, you are losing the sense of reality. You cannot be independent. We people are interconnected in myriad of ways which they cannot fathom beyond what they can see. You have electricity, you have gas, you have pipes, you have social security, maybe. Dependent where you live, of course. You can go to your store to buy food. You can go out on a Friday evening, Saturday evening and grab something to eat in a restaurant with your friends and colleagues. All that is because we are socially interconnected in a way that it happens so smoothly that you take it for granted. You cannot see the complexity of the societal structure. The exact same thing that intensifies the progress of humanity as a whole. This kind of an attitude becomes even more overblown when we are stepping into the era of emotions, when it's all about feels and what I feel is more important than the fact, which leads to an inflated sense of ego. Emotions aren't bad, don't get me wrong, emotions is what makes us to experience the world around us. Emotions aren't evil, lacking control thereof is, which consequently leads to a huge ego. Everyone is important in their own little way, creating this perception of the world where they think that they're playing the leading role in a film that is all about them, forgetting the perception of others. The funny thing is, the lower the status a person has, the more they think of themselves. I have colleagues that are fighting over smallest things over mundane things that don't contribute to or enhance anything in their lives. They are so starved for drama, for emotional eruption, that they would do anything in order to feel feelings, which leads them consequently to create unfriendly environments, atmosphere. You poisonous bitch! And let's get one thing straight, I am not for being overly nice. I am though for being very strategic and choosing your battles because at the end of the day your integrity is number one. I am for progressing in life as smoothly as possible and creating conflicts that don't serve you in any way will only slow you down. Conflicts are only worth it when you gain some kind of a value out of it or you are defending your reputation. Unless you are working in a team and there's a question of respect at hand. This is why when it comes to everyday collisions, before jumping into the fire, always ask yourself, what's in it for me? Do I have something to gain out of this clash? What will I win? This same attitude is promoted by every philosophy and spiritual teachings. It's about keeping your mouth shut taking a couple of steps back, mentally speaking, reassessing the situation, taking a deep breath and deciding what kind of action you should take. I get that people may not think back to what Marcus Aurelius taught in the chapter 63 of meditations. In the moment of heat, so simply remembering this trick to ask yourself, what's in it for me? will you be able to keep your composure and not blabber out something that you will regret later on. Dealing with people in a professional and friendly way, uplifting them, making them to like you is what will help you to progress in life. Because without people, we are nothing. There is no one human being. There is a human society comprising thousands and millions of people that contribute something to the whole, making your life easier, more comfortable and convenient than ever before. And asking that question will give you clarity. And let me tell you what, 
most often than not, seldom the answer to that question will favor the initiation of the conflict. The only thing that we do in the heat of the moment is that we try to protect our ego, fight back, scratch, punch and elbow. We are hurt, we want a retribution, but at the end of the day, nothing is won. Everyone loses. Karma is an intention that you bring into this world. And as per Newton's third law, what you bring is what you get. And that concerns everyone. Pride will get you in trouble. Strategic deception will win you wars. Osain, out.